We must facilitate the country's economic recovery. A call on Congress to fast track the passage of the proposed measure, such as the Corporate Recovery and Tax Incentives Enterprises or CREATE Act. This immediately cuts the corporate income levy from the current 30 to 25 percent and give government flexibility to grant a combination of fiscal and non-fiscal incentives, among others. The Financial Institution Strategic Transfer, or First Stock, will set up mechanisms allowing banks and other financial institutions to dispose of and transfer non-performing assets and loans to asset management companies similar to the special purpose vehicles. Our economic managers have seen infrastructure investment as an effective tool to help spur high growth, attract investments, create jobs, and achieve financial inclusion for all Filipinos. The DBP has resumed the construction of the North Luzon Expressway Harbor Link, the NLEX SLEX connector, the Cavite Laguna Expressway, the Metro Manila Skyway Stage 3, the R1 Bridge Project, the Tarlac Pangasinan La Union Expressway Project, and the Subic Report Expressway Project, to name a few. To realize the maximum benefit from the country's investments, the infrastructure projects under the Build, Build, Build program, which are labor and capital intensive, are not mere springboards for the country's swift recovery pan pandemic. They are economic benefits, economic benefits uh, to be distributed to all corners of the country and push sustainable st stability in the urban centers, particularly, particularly Manila. The TESTA launch online mode of livelihood and, and skills training. There are 71 free online training to help upskill trainers for the right opportunities. Op opportunities, I'm sorry. I ask TESDA to come up with special training programs to retool our OFWs so they can find employment opportunities here and at home. I am also calling on the CHED for scholarship programs for the qualified dependents of our OFW. I direct the Department of Agriculture and DTI to come up with the agribusiness and entrepreneurship projects to help this place. OFWs rebuild their livelihood. Further, I ask the, center, the, the Land Bank and other government financial institutions to continue providing low, low interest lo loans to our OFW. Sa mga kababayan ko na naghihirap sa ibang bansa. Nandito na ang inyong gobyerno para matulungan kayo at inyong mga pamilya, lalo na sa panahong ito. <laughs> the government will intensify its efforts to help businesses, especially micro, small, and medium enterprises, or MSMEs, by providing 
responsive government assistance and services capitalization and business operation support as we adapt to the next normal na nanawagan po ako sa ating mga lessors. Na nanawagan po ako sa ating mga lessors. Malasakit at banaybayanihan po ang sana ang ipairalin natin ngayon. This is not the time to drive away laces. During normal times, they were the primary source of your income stream. Now it's time to be fair and compassionate. Come up with an amenable arrangement with your tenants. Wag po natin silang pagtabuyan, tanggalin ang tubig, kuryente at bubong. Commercial establishments are requested to give grace periods to allow deferment of payments, especially for MSMEs that were forced to close down during the quarantine period. Let us help them recover. We pump prime the recovery and rehabilitation of the MSMEs. The DTI to the Small Business Corporation set up the Philippine 1 billion COVID assistance to restart enterprises or CARES program to provide zero interest loans for MSMEs affected by the pandemic as of July 10, 2020. Over 2,600 loans applications worth more than 182.5 million have been approved. We are optimistic that this initiative will help our MSMEs stabilize and recover from their losses. I also enjoin the Banco Central ng Pilipinas and the banks operating in the country to provide regulatory relief for our MSMEs and allow loan payment extension without incurring penalties and charges. We need your help to prevent the collapse of companies saddled with accumulated amortization and payables caused by closure of their businesses at the height of the strict quarantine periods. As we embark on this effort towards inclusive recovery, we should acknowledge that all forms of government support will go to naught if the new MSMEs do not thrive because of lack of consumer support. Ito ang panahon para suportahan natin ang ating mga kababayan na nanagdinegosyo at gumawa ng mga produktong sariling atin in the same manner in tourism and recreation industries which are among the hardest hit by the pandemic count on our full support while we slowly try to put the fund back in your local travels, the national government agencies and LGUs must harmonize their policies to boost tourism, ensuring everyone's well-being. We join our people to help boost the economy by traveling locally. Local na lang. Once the necessary system are in place, the DOSD offers its enterprise technology upgrading program to enable businesses to access training that will help them transition to online and contact less operation. Now more than ever, we need to protect our consumers. I direct 
department, the Department of Trade and Industry to ensure the empowerment of Filipinos on consumer rights and co coordinate strategies between public and private organizations in building a fair, safe, resilient, and sustainable economy. There are welcome developments for commerce and industry, but major economic activities take place in borderless environment with the meager regulatory controls. They expose consumers to various risks related to security, data, privacy, and misrepresentation. We must patrol the country's cyberspace and enforce online consumer and data protection and privacy laws. We must run after online scammers and those undermining the people's trust the online trans on, on the online tr transactions. We must continue to protect Filipinos in the normal and remind the world that we are responsible stewards of data. I am committed to protect both physical and digital lives of our law-abiding countrymen. <clears throat>